to the wonderful Dabba Lady Doctor. I was very excited when I joined Murdoch Mysteries. I really wanted to write a medical mystery episode. Perhaps she's an asymptomatic carrier, like Typhoid Mary. This episode sees the Women's College Hospital opening. In the Women's Hospital, we have, you know, storylines that reflect her as a mother, being deeply concerned about other mothers. I must take my mother home. Oh, well, I wouldn't advise that. There's a lot of great storylines like that infused with women in general and women's health. I decide what treatments my patients need. Thank you very much. Violet, she's been pretty helpful this year. She's got some interesting, actually, episodes for the fans this year where she's doing some different things. I feel like we're searching for a needle in a haystack. The question is, what killed this person? Is it a dangerous pathogen? The hospital goes into lockdown, and Ogden and Nurse Sullivan have to solve this before another form member of our team succumbs. You need help here! That's a terrifying episode. But she's not breathing. Can't find a pulse. It seems as though half the time she's just bumping around a lot. A very normal working mother experience, I guess. You are a stubborn woman, Julia especially when protecting those I love. She is in almost every scene, so you'll get your Julia fill. You're doing some really heroic doctoring. We may be able to save her life. In our back half, Detective Murdoch comes in and uses his chemistry skills to help solve the mystery. I believe it's dimethyl sulfone. I would say that there are moments in this last episode that set up the finale a little bit. You ought not to keep your gifts from the wider world, Dr. Rotten. I won't say anything else about that because... What are you doing here? My job. Murdoch Mysteries. All new episode every Saturday at 7 on Ovation.